Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply. This video is to bring you a closer look at the Ultra Hardware 44253 Standard Duty Commercial Cylindrical Lock. This style uh, features a clutch mechanism and we'll go through that. So this is a typical sort of grade 2 cylindrical lever lock. I'm just taking all the parts out of the box to show them to you one at a time here. Okay, so first the business end of the lock. That's what it looks like. This is the satin chrome finish. Typical commercial grade lever with the return back to the face of the door, which would be required for your ADA compliance. Okay, got your rosettes and is built to emulate uh, or to, uh, it's, it's made to emulate a very common design of locks. We happen to use this type of lock in um, residential applications where they want a lever lock, although the construction of this is a bit um, overkill, I think, for a residential application, but very, still very appropriate. Overkill meaning it's, it's made to handle more usage than residential uh, applications would typically give. Also, it is, uh, we typically sell these in light duty commercial applications, retail spaces. We've even sold these for um, fast food places, you know, so that, that's going to get more than just light duty commercial use. And they do certainly seem to hold up. They're, a lock like this that's in, your, in this price range is not intended really for, for anything beyond very light duty commercial use. However, they do seem to last. Um, they will eventually need to be replaced in my opinion, but they do seem to last. So this is a push turn button style, okay? So you're going to have the ability to have the lock. Okay, right now it's unlocked with that button sticking out. You can push the button in and it locks the outside until you rotate the inside and then it automatically unlocks it. Or you can push the button in, you heard it click, and then turn it, and then this is always going to be locked. That's how that's, that's just simply going to work. Okay, so it's a, uh, a push turn button is how that's, that's going to work. Um, two and three quarter latch bolt, that's going to come with it. That's a two and a quarter high by inch and an eighth wide faceplate, which is would which would be standard on commercial steel doors or doors prepped for a 161 lock prep. Four and seven eight strike, you're going to get that as well. Typical for steel frames. Obviously two keys. Okay, going to come with this. Spanner wrench, which would allow you to, you know, d d remove the levers, ultimately remove the cylinder should you need to. Uh, Etc. It's kind of a multi-purpose tool. Really, its only purpose on this lock is just to remove by depressing those tabs to pull the lever off, which you'd have to do to put the lock on. There's a little access hole there that you stick that little tip into. Screw package. This would be for through bolting the door. You would drill holes at 12 and 6 per the template, and there's a link below this video to that for uh, the through bolt holes, which are the um, recommended method of installation because you can put so much torque on a lever that you can spin the lock uh, so those holes at 12 and 6 keep that chassis from from rotating unintentionally uh, of course all your screws for the latch bolt for the strike plate okay everything you need there for that combination wood metal screws um, and then again, there's going to be a link below. There is a link below this video to the uh, instructions and template. It's very straightforward uh, sort of installation on this lock. Give you an idea of just a couple of rough dimensions. The diameter of the rosette's about three and three eighths. So the diameter of this rosette is through about three and three eighths, which is a very typical common. Overall length of the lever is about five inch. So from here to the back side is about 5 inch. Typical material. If you have any questions on the Ultra Hardware 44253 standard duty commercial cylindrical lever lock or any other Ultra Hardware product, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you very much.